A healthy heart beats with love for Jesus. Our Daily Bread. Today's encouragement from the Our Daily Bread devotional was written by Ann Cetus. After being away on business, Terry wanted to pick up some small gifts for his children. The clerk at the airport gift shop recommended a number of costly items. I don't have that much money with me, he said. I need something less expensive. Well, the clerk tried to make him feel that he was being cheap, but Terry knew his children would be happy with whatever he gave them because it came from a heart of love. And he was right. They loved the gifts that he brought them. You know, we're told in the New Testament book of Mark that during Jesus' last visit to the town of Bethany, Mary wanted to show her love for him. So she brought an alabaster flask of very costly oil of spikenard and anointed him. The disciples asked angrily, Why this waste? But Jesus told them to stop troubling her, for she has done a good work for me. Another translation reads, She has done a beautiful thing to me. Jesus delighted in her gift because it came from a heart of love. Even anointing him for burial was beautiful. So what would you like to give Jesus to show your love? Your time, talent, treasure? It doesn't matter if it's costly or inexpensive, whether others understand or criticize. Whatever is given from a heart of love is beautiful to Him. Today's Our Daily Bread devotional scripture reading comes from Mark chapter 14, verses 3 through 9. While he was in Bethany, reclining at the table in the home of Simon the leper, a woman came with an alabaster jar of very expensive perfume made of pure nard. She broke the jar and poured the perfume on his head. Some of those present were saying indignantly to one another, Why this waste of perfume? It could have been sold for more than a year's wages and the money given to the poor. And they rebuked her harshly. Leave her alone, said Jesus. Why are you bothering her? She has done a beautiful thing to me. The poor you will always have with you, and you can help them any time you want. But you will not always have me. She did what she could. She poured perfume on my body beforehand to prepare for my burial. Truly, I tell you, wherever the gospel is preached throughout the world, what she has done will also be told in memory of her. That's today's scripture reading from Mark chapter 14, verses 3 through 9. And now before we close, let's pray together. Nothing we could give you, Father, could repay you for your sacrifice. But we want to give you what you would think is beautiful. We give you our hearts today in thankfulness for your love. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let us know how Our Daily Bread has inspired your daily walk with God by leaving a comment on today's devotional at odb.org. Thanks for listening. Today's encouragement was brought to you from Our Daily Bread Ministries.